In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to fill the vaporizer on the EX3000. Uh, we have an ISO filler and a sevofluorane filler. To fill the uh, isofluorine vaporizer, you'll just unscrew the uh, plug here. Remove the plug and there's an O-ring, that's the seal. Make sure you don't lose it. And we'll take our anesthetic and pour it into the funnel. And as the drug goes into the vaporizer, this is your fluid level. As the vaporizer fills, the level will climb. Once you get the vaporizer filled, you want to inspect and make sure that there's nothing that would get between the O-ring to make a good seal, such as dog hair or paper off of the isofluorine bottle. Uh, make sure the O-ring's intact, not cut or chipped. Reinsert the plug with the O-ring and tighten it down, just finger tight. It needs to be a good tight snug, but don't over tighten. It just needs to be finger tight. We're going to demonstrate how to drain the vaporizers on the X3000. If you ever have to put the unit in storage or ship to the unit, it needs to be drained of the anesthetic drug, and we're going to demonstrate that now. You'll remove the black cover plug here, and you'll reach up and you'll feel a little rubber nipple plug. You'll pull this off the bottom of the vaporizer, and your drug will drain out then into the bottle. While draining the isofluorine vaporizer, opening the filler port and allowing it to vent to room air will allow it to drain faster. Yeah, when fully drained, you'll just reconnect the plug. 